defending a game that others were bashing just because you remembered it to be way more awesome than it actually was, and they're like, Dude, that game sucks! No, it doesn't, you ass face! Seriously, man, it's one of the worst games I've ever played. Oh, yeah, that's kind of weird, because your mom's the worst game I've ever played! Really? We're gonna bring our moms into this? Damn right we will, because I played your mom like an SNES Advantage! I twisted all her turbo buttons all night! Dude, that is screwed up. Not as screwed up as when I blew on her like an old NES cartridge and I rubbed my Contra coat all over her face! What the fuck? Yeah, Pit Fighter for the Super Nintendo. Pit Fighter was one of those games that grabbed your attention in the arcades because of its looks. The use of digitized actors was a new trend that was just beginning in 1990. Imagine being in an arcade and being surrounded by games like Golden Axe, Kid Nicky, or 1942, and then suddenly see a machine playing a game like this. Just the idea alone of recording an actor in front of a green or a blue screen and somehow implement them into a video game just seemed like some crazy Star Trek holodeck fantasy. The arcade game was kind of fun. For its time, it looked realistic. You had special moves and weapons at your disposal. Even though it was a difficult game, it was never so difficult that it pushed you over the edge of madness. So imagine hearing that Pit Fighter, a game you enjoy, is now being ported to your favorite system. You should be pretty damn happy, right? The situation involving waiting for Pit Fighter to be ported from the arcade to the Super Nintendo can best be described by a bad experience in internet dating. A gorgeous girl named Jessica responds to your ad and says she wants to meet you on Friday. Friday rolls around and... It's open! Hi, I'm Jessica. <laughs> Alright, let's dive right in. Just like the arcade, you're able to choose from three different characters. Quite a step down in the graphical department when compared to the arcade, though. Holy horse shit. First, I want to take a moment to thank the game for never letting me friggin' move because I sure know I love not being able to control anything. Second, I realize any arcade port from this era is going to be watered down both graphically and in the audio, but this isn't watered down. This is a waterfall of disappointment, a monsoon of camel ass, a hurricane of graphical herpes. Yeah, if you ever sat around thinking to yourself, gee, I wonder what it would be like if I got punched in the balls by THQ. Well, there you go. It's called Pit Fighter. The controls are destroyed. For starters, they lag a bit. In some cases, they don't seem to respond at all. For a while, I actually thought it was my controller, so naturally I tried a couple of others. Nope, it's the game. At the start of each round, you'll notice the controls almost seem to get stuck, but the computer character moves just fine and has no issues kicking your ass. Oh, and let's talk about Kato. What a miserable son of a bitch he is! Not only do you have to deal with the control issues, but at the beginning of every match, he feels the need to bow. Every time he does this, the computer AI gets a free shot and you can't do diddly toucan caca about it. Why does he have to bow? Is it supposed to be the developer's way of showing honor and respect to the opponent no matter what situation you find yourself in? No, 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 no. I'm giving this game way too much credit because really it was just the developer's way of giving the player a makeshift rectal exam. Usually the arcade versions of games are more difficult than the home console ports and that's because arcades want you to burn up all of your quarters. This is literally the first time I've ever seen a home port be more difficult. You don't have any options, so you can't change the difficulty settings, you don't get any weapons like you do in the arcade, and the biggest thing missing from the home port is you don't get unlimited special moves. You can use a couple, and then you gotta earn more. What the hell is that all about? And why would you even change that? Imagine playing Street Fighter 2 where you can only do two Hadoukens and one Shuriken the entire game. I don't even know what to do anymore. All I can do is just jump around all over the place like an idiot. Woo, 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 woo. Well. 
What the hell is he doing to my body? It's not enough that the game sucks hardcore, but it also has to add insult to injury by teabagging my face. Pit Fighter shouldn't even come packed with a game. It should just include an Avril Lavigne CD, a thick tube, and instructions on how to give yourself an enema. In the ear! The only piece of solace I've been able to get with this game is by using Ty, and I don't really understand why that is. Basically doing any move against your opponent gives them the chance to strike you multiple times so you can't move. However, if you hit your punch button rapidly while using Ty, for whatever reason, suddenly you start doing well. After watching this several times, my guess is that it's one less frame in your attack when compared to Buzz and Kato. But if you get hit, and most of the time it only takes once, chances are your opponent won't let you move and will just strike you until you die. So really you have to get lucky as far as continuing to spam your punch button and hoping in vain your opponent gets caught. When you do actually win, you're put onto a forklift for reasons I'll never understand and seriously has the nerve to say, hey, you made it. Well, thanks for the confidence boost, ass hair. Why don't you just take it a step further by saying, I'm surprised you made it this far considering how bad you suck at life and you probably should just end it here because nobody likes you. If you need instructions on multiple ways to end your life, please press A. After the first match, you'd think you'd see or hear something different. The only thing that really changes other than slight variations to the background is you do fight other characters. These other characters, however, are so cheap they make the first fight seem fair. And that music. I am so sick of playing games that have only one song the entire game. Its blandness is piercing my brain. Having an air horn going off next to my head repeatedly would be an improvement and I seriously welcome it. <laughs> Why don't you just quit playing the game? But I can't. I'm compelled to beat a game that's this difficult because it feels like they're hiding something special. I'm honestly convinced if I beat Pit Fighter, there's going to be some awesome, cool ending. And I want to f see it! Oh my god! You know, I get asked all the time, what's your favorite game? And I can never answer the question because I like way too many games across too many platforms. But today, today is your lucky day because I can narrow it down for you. My favorite games are the ones that don't make me feel like I have to f cheat to win! Oh, you want to be cheap with me? Now it's my turn, mother -fother. This is the last guy we have to beat to see the end of this game. When it's this hard, there has to be something awesome at the end. I mean, why else would you make it this difficult? Hey Halfbit, can you please say hi to my mom Lynn, your friend, Yanmin26. What a weird request. Hi Lynn. Thanks for watching also.